Well, I am here with Matteo Tozo. I feel like I just had a vacation in Italy, but I'm actually in Anacapri in Coral Gables. I have a beautiful meal with some beautiful wines from the Battaziolo Winery, winery yeah. in, in the Piemonte area. Piemonte area. And um, this little hottie here, okay, he's like, I mean, he's jailbait. He's only 26, but he's actually won an award recently from Espresso. Um, you are the best and, and most renowned sommelier in Italy this year. Now he has a girlfriend, okay, ladies. <laughs> so I only get him for this interview. But he's but Italian, I, so it doesn't yes, matter. <laughs> we have three. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now um, we we've been talking a lot about what makes wine sexy, and and so tell me a little bit. You, you're a sommelier at a hotel called Il Boscaretto. Resort, yes. Resort. In okay, so Saralunga d'Alba. And tell us a little bit about this resort and, and why it's so romantic. Oh, it's uh, very romantic because uh, it's. Uh, by the in on the top of a very nice hill, you have a totally uh, view all around the hotel, and um, it's very quiet place, and uh, you can concentrate uh, your time to your girlfriend, you know. Or your your yeah your significant other. Now there are two things besides having great food and wine, and there's bicycle tours and all kinds of things you can do over there. But um, one of the things that you can do in the fall is truffle hunting, right? Yes, absolutely. It's possible and uh, with the truffle hunter uh, you can go early in the morning because uh, uh, the people you go when the people sleep because uh, they don't must know when where you go to 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 get the, the truffle and uh, you, we can organize also the truffle hunting for uh, and after the truffle that you have catch you eat at lunch. Yeah, so if, if you're not aware of what the, this is, a, this is a big deal. These truffles are very expensive. They're very rare. The white truffle, they only grow in this little neck of the woods, literally. So you have to go with a, a truffle hunter who has a dog who can sniff out the truffles. And it's basically this really incredible mushroom. Then you have this sumptuous breakfast with eggs and bread and, and butter and you, and you shave the truffle on top of the breakfast. Now, the thing, here's the thing though. It's not, it's not Denny's, okay? Um, uh, truffles are an aphrodisiac, according to my cameraman over here. <laughs> so that, that's what makes background. it romantic. Now, what else is it that you can do around 2 o'clock in the afternoon? You have a guest house, and you can have a nice picnic. and So can you elaborate a little bit? Yes, that? yes. Uh, there's something uh, that you can do. Uh, you, you can prepare a very nice egg. Uh, bake it uh, with a lot of cheese, cream, bread and with a fresh truffle on top and uh, this is a very aphrodisiac dish and uh, you can fill this uh, this dish with a uh, or barolo or or Barbaresca. this wine or this, this is a moscato yes. which is sweet it's like a dessert wine and it's great for valentine's day wink wink um, but you can also you can prepare a picnic basket for guests if, if they stay at the resort Yes. And you can go to this guest house. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, with Moscato, it's better with the uh, more sweetest thing, with dessert. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but in the San San Valentin's Day, you eat a lot of chocolate and something like this. Moscato is perfect. Um, and so, but people can have picnics and romantic picnics. Yes. And around in and around the vineyard, right? Yes, uh, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Now. Uh, um, we, we organize a lot of picnics then at lunch in the morning or in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and uh, but uh, in the summertime is uh, unbelievable. Yes. Okay, and uh, what's the easiest way to get there? Like, would you fly into Milan and then you take a, a, a smaller flight to Torino? Or no, no, no. no. In, this is in northwest Italy. Yes, right? yes. Um, is in the northwest, uh, uh, close to France. And uh, you can arrive to the Torino Airport or Milano Airport. And uh, but if you arrive at Milano, you can drive to Torino to Piemont. Is maybe one hour and a half by car. It's not so far away. Okay. Well, I hope you know I'm doing this for you now, but I hope to personally verify all of this. Um, you know, have to go check it out, and maybe I'll find me an Italian husband. We find it so. for you, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matteo, so much for, for hanging out with us today. Um, and it's, the wine is really great. And, um, and you can find it right at Crown Liquors, yep. um, Epicure Market, um, Milan's. Milan's Market, Doral Wine and Spirits, and uh, many other places in Miami. I would drive 
Moscato di Asti, boss della Rey. Boscaretto. Yes. What you do in Valentine's, you get some peaches, some lemon gelato, sit next to the pool in a beautiful bathing suit, so you know you start your romantic evening on it. On the pool with Moscato. You heard that, peaches and Moscato. That sounds yes. good to me. Actually, on any day, that sounds good. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your very fantastic work. Thank you.